Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning, and I decided that I'm going to vlog a little bit this week. Um, since I'm so busy and I'm always doing stuff, this is a good way to get some content out. So it's um, quarter after six, it's still dark outside, and I'm on my way to Ulta for job number one today. But first, <laughs> Duncan. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so yeah, it's snowing. It's cold. I just came out here real quick to get a um, quick measurement of this wall back here where my kitchen, most of my kitchen will be. Um, I just want to double check and make sure that the cabinet layout that I want to go with fits there. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do that real quick and go back inside. Uh, tomorrow, Tomorrow I have um, another insulation contractor coming to give me an estimate. The first estimate came in at over $9,000 just for this tiny little space, but it was for spray foam, the entire house spray foam insulation, um, which ideally that's the way I'd want to go because it's just better in my opinion. So. The problem is the ceiling, the um, roof, ceiling, whatever you want to call it, um, does not have the required depth needed to get the R value that is, you know, required in this area. So, yeah, I only have about eight inches of space to put insulation and I need 10 to just go with, you know, regular bat insulation. So that's why I want to go with spray foam. That's another reason why I want to go with spray foam because it takes a lot less thickness to get the R value. I don't know. I know what I mean. I hope this is making sense, but yeah. So the insulation company coming tomorrow um, does spray foam, but they also do other kinds of insulation like something that's called spider that's like a sprayed in fiberglass insulation and there's like some sort of adhesive so it's not like that fluffy blown in stuff like it it actually sticks to the walls and to the to the studs um, without like you know settling down in the bottom of the, the wall cavities so and I think that's probably gonna be cheaper I don't know we'll see fingers crossed because I did not budget $9,000 and uh, yeah, I won't be spending $9,000. So it's Wednesday now and by Monday, um, my plumber would like me to have the shower that I plan on installing so that he can plumb to it instead of just kind of guessing on exactly where the drain is going to be. So there is a um, building surplus store, um, which is where I got my current kitchen cabinets and it's super, super affordable. Um, the only downside is it is about two hours away and that is where I found the shower that I was going to use. It was only $379 for a 48 inch shower um which is as big as i can go in that tiny little space and i was hoping to try to get there before monday to get the shower um i'm getting a bunch of other stuff there too but the shower is like the main thing right now so today was the only day that i have available that I didn't have to work both of my jobs and I could get there within their weird store hours that they have. Um, but yeah, it didn't happen. So my plan B is to get a shower pan um, from my local Lowe's. It will fit in my car and it's $150, which is not bad at all. And then just tile the shower which aesthetically, that's what I would want to have anyway. But I know it's, you know, it's more work and it could potentially be more expensive. Um, but I'm a 
thrifty shopper, so I think I should be able to source the tile and, and all that stuff pretty cheap. So that is my new plan, and I guess I'm going to Lowe's tonight to get that. And so last night I went out and uh, got those measurements. So this is what I worked out today. Um, this is only two of the walls. I did not put this wall in, which I'm going to have to go back out and get the measurements between, there's a door, actually, there's a door up here and a window down here. And the space between those, I, I would like to have the fridge and at least one pantry cupboard, maybe one on each side if it will fit. I have to go recheck that measurement. But for these two walls, I'm going to have a 36 inch base cabinet with a 36 inch wall cabinet above it. My sink, which there's a window above that. Um, I'm going to do a blind base, a corner cabinet, upper corner cabinet, and um, <clears throat> I believe a 21 inch wall is what would fit there in that space, even though this cupboard down here is only 18 inches. And then my stove, and, and then another little 15 inch upper and lower cabinet over here. And that should bring me right to the edge where that little line is of my bathroom door. Also here in the middle, I'm planning on doing two 24 inch cabinets and then making it an island with seating. That's the plan. Uh, so yeah, that's about all there is to report on right now. Um, it is about 4.30. I'm gonna hang out for a little bit, feed my one doggy. Um, if you've watched previous videos, especially the makeup videos, um, the dog that was always snoring in the background is no longer with us. Um, she passed away um, right before Thanksgiving. Um, believed to be bone cancer. So, yeah, Stormy is, is no longer with us. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that and um, go do my running and maybe check with you guys later. It's Thursday. I am currently on my way to work. I'm super early. So I just stopped at Lowe's to pick up my exterior lights. Um, I talked to my plumber, electrician guy, he's doing both, and um, he would like them so he could install them, so killed some time. Also, some other news, I did get the estimate for my insulation, and um, this contractor also confirmed that I don't have enough space in my rafters to go with bat insulation in the ceiling and still get the R value that is required in my climate um so he also agreed that spray foam is uh the way to go so his estimate had spray foam in the ceiling and then just regular batted bat insulation in the rest of the walls and it came in just over four thousand dollars so yes i could do the bat insulation myself but if i don't have to I'd rather not because it's a pain in the butt and I want to make sure it's done right. Um, that's something I'm not really willing to compromise on because I want my house to be warm and cool in the summer and so I want it done by a professional. So I'm going to I'm gonna take the hit. It's more than I wanted to spend but, you know, at least it'll be done right. I don't have spray foam in the ceiling, which is awesome. So aside from that, that's pretty much all that's going on right now. I'm heading to work. I get off at 9.30 tonight. I might swing into Walmart on my way home, depending on how I feel. We'll see. But yeah, I will uh, talk to you later on. What's up, guys? It is now Monday, and just taking a little break from work, so I figured I would close this video out. Um, it hasn't been a very exciting week. But nonetheless, hopefully you enjoyed watching. And I think I will probably continue doing this in the future. Um, it, it makes things a lot easier for me, and especially if I'm doing a lot of 
house updating stuff. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this kind of video, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. So it is Thursday. No, my God. <laughs> okay. All right. You're making me nervous. You're making me nervous. Does my breath stink? yourself. Don't fall off the bed. Tonight, huh? Want to get a tubby? Want to get a tubby?